For the first time in decades, Mauna Loa volcano is erupting at 11.30 p.m. on Sunday evening after months of unrest, but without indication that an eruption was imminent, an eruption began at the summit caldera inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The USGS volcanic activity notice for the volcano jumped from advisory yellow to red warning overnight. The start of the eruption was captured in thermal imagery by a USGS webcam positioned at the summit. As of early Monday morning, emergency officials were saying that all lava vents were restricted to the summit area, although lava flows are visible from Kona. Here is the Hawaii County Civil Defense radio message that was issued at 2.30 in the morning. This is a civil defense update. This is an eruption message for Monday, November 28th at 2.30 a.m. USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported earlier tonight that a summit eruption began in Mokuweoweo Caldera at the summit of Mauna Loa. USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory and Civil Defense are activated and monitoring the situation. Lava activity remains confined to the summit. At this time, there is no indication of lava exiting the summit, nor of lava migrating down the southwest rift zone. As a precaution, shelters have been opened at the old Kona Airport in Kailua, Kona, and Kau Gymnasium in Pahala. You will be informed of any changes that affect your safety. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. A rare ash fall advisory has been issued for Hawaii Island. The National Weather Service says trace amounts of ash fall accumulation is possible around the island due to the eruption. It could lead to possible harm to crops and animals, minor equipment damage, and reduced visibility. Big Island Video News will be following the eruption as it develops, and we will be updating our media channels throughout the day.